Farming is a cornerstone of Arkansas's identity, but extreme weather is putting that legacy at risk, and it's costing all of us more at the grocery store. Tonight, meteorologist Scott Covert introduces us to a farmer who's pioneering ways to fight back in hopes of protecting our pocketbooks and saving farmers as we know it. Surrounded by relics of earlier generations, weathered and rusted by Mother Nature herself, the work happening at this small farm in Jackson County is gaining national attention for its approach to a changing climate. Quite literally, the future of agriculture as we know it may very well be rooted right here in Arkansas. Come on in. This year, we had a very wet spring, which is actually the fourth consecutive year of an abnormally wet planting season for us. When it finally stopped raining in May, it really stopped raining. I mean, it didn't rain for about 40 days after that. Hallie Schaffner, a sixth generation farmer, describes this constant shift from one extreme to the next as the perfect storm, one that's increasingly difficult for her farm to withstand. Climate change is no longer a hypothetical situation. Arkansas farmers and ranchers are bearing the brunt of this. It's a divisive topic for some, but for Hallie, the realities of climate change in the natural state are having a very real impact on her family's way of life. So on top of being thrown off course because of all of this rain and flooding, we're now contending with being thrown off course with extreme heat and no rain at all. The challenge is not addressing any single weather event. It's addressing these paper cuts that just sort of keep adding on. It's like a wound that never quite heals. For each day the weather prevents Schaffner from being in her fields, that leads to higher cost to run her farm and ultimately smaller harvest, two key factors that are driving up the price that we pay at the grocery store. Forget the politics. Let's talk about you and me food that comes on the table, money that goes into your pocket. Thinking about what kind of foods do you love? Do you go to the grocery store and you buy? How accessible and affordable do you want those to be? These are the questions that led Schaffner to rethink how she works the very soil that her ancestors have for generations. In doing so, she's pioneered and reimagined farming in a more resilient and sustainable way. That means changing the way we farm. In many cases, it means treating our soil fertility differently so that we can use fewer fertilizers and less chemical. Converting to electric wells and installing solar, for example, to reduce our energy costs, become more energy independent. It also means planting seeds of change, quite literally. Take Arkansas's top two exports, rice and soybeans, for example. Schaffner's Farm is working with some of the largest ag companies to grow and test new varieties of these crops, designed specifically to withstand the same harsh weather extremes that have become the norm. These genetics help farmers get more for less, even in difficult conditions. The goal is better harvest, more money for farmers. The upside is we're combating climate change at the same time. Schaffner's multi-pronged approach to sustainability has not only earned her the recognition of her peers here in Arkansas, but it's landed her small farm on a big national stage in publications like Garden and Gun magazine. While her leadership itself is fruitful, her goal is so much more. It becomes very personal for me, for farmers. It's not something that we can ignore. We do not have the luxury of ignoring climate change. I would say I'm hopeful because I think the ag industry recognizes that it's time for action on climate change. And I would say that now is the time more than any other. In Jackson County, Scott Covert, THV 11 News.